Hello and welcome to my channel. It's like 9 o'clock right now. <laughs> 9 o'clock at night. I don't know why I just got like the sudden urge to start recording. So today, most of you probably will not care about this video, <laughs> but I thought it might be kind of cool to do a video on like how I organize all of my military uniforms because I promise that one day I'm actually going to learn how to use a camera and learn how to set the aperture before I start my video. Okay, as I was saying, my uniform items take up so much space in the closet. There's just so many of them. Naturally, I am just a super organized person, so of course all of my uniform stuff has to be organized. So I'm gonna walk you through my closet and show you how I organize all of my uniforms. You don't have to do it exactly how I do it. It might be a little overboard for you, but hopefully something sticks out and maybe you take a couple of different tips from this. This should be a pretty quick video. So here are all my military uniforms. They're like, they take up from here to here. And I put most of them in these garment bags that I just got on Amazon because a lot of these uniforms I only wear once in a while. So like my whites I only wear once in a while. My service dress blues I only wear once in a while. So I just put them in the garment bags to protect them from like dust or anything. When I do have to wear them they're pretty much just ready to go. I just get them off the hanger. I'll just have to like touch it up a little bit but you can see they look pretty decent just for hanging around there for a while and you definitely don't have to go as overboard as I did so like here these are just my undershirts so I have to wear like white undershirts for some uniforms and brown undershirts for another uniform um <laughs> those definitely don't have to go in garment bags they can just get folded if you want I just had some extra garment bags so I just do it like that and I prefer all my stuff hung so like as you can see pretty much hang everything except my pants <laughs> and then these are my jackets um, and then down here underneath we have like all of my other uniform items so I'm gonna say like my accessories here are all of my shoes so here and then here I got these like clear plastic ones off Amazon maybe for like 10 bucks for four of them the reason I got those clear boxes is because I threw like their original boxes away I don't know why I did that I highly 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 recommend either keeping your shoes in their boxes or getting some sort of encasement for them just because again like these white shoes I don't wear that often it's easier to just keep them in a box where they're going to be dust free and all of that and it saves you time in the long run because then you know when you have to grab these out to go wear them like the uniform items that are in the garment bags they're pretty good to go you may just have to like buff them out a little bit but other than that they should be good okay and then some other uniform stuff so this I just have out because I have to wear tomorrow so I just kind of folded it out but my boots I usually keep so I just keep like the boot bands around them, easy to like grab and go. And then in these two baskets, I keep a lot of my accessories. So this I just have out because I kind of need to clean it and iron it. But in here is where I keep all of my accessories for my uniform. So my extra like, boot bands, I just keep together my pantyhose. Uh, shoulder boards, some extra belts. So I pretty much have two sets of belts. I don't know, I just acquired them. But these are like my nice belts, so my inspection belts. And then these are kind of my like, oops, why is this in the way? And then these are my like kind of everyday belts. Now, you don't have to do this, but I would definitely suggest if you can, 
buy two of some accessories, maybe even some uniform tops and bottoms. Basically just to give yourself like an everyday set and then one for like inspections. Again, not needed. You can obviously spend the time to make the one belt that you have look nice or you can just have an <laughs> extra belt that you only wear on those special occasions, those special ceremonies um, and inspections, whatever it is. And then for the uniform items, for like the tops and bottoms, it's a little more expensive to buy an extra set, so that's why it just depends on what your job is and what you're gonna wear more often. So like for me, it makes sense to have an extra pair of khakis. Again, definitely not needed to have like duplicate items, but if you can, I would highly recommend it just to save you some time in the long run. Okay, going back. This is like a notepad that it's in this little zippy. These are extra shirt stays, some extra foam pieces. So these I have just for like reinforcement for my name tag and my ribbons on my uniform. Uh, it just makes it sit nice and flush on the uniform itself. Tied to go pen for those summer whites. Some extra of the belt that I cut off so that it would fit me. <laughs> Again, more shirt stays, um, a lock, and then just some like extra insignia. I keep that in the Tupperware because they have prongs, so they just like rip through the Ziploc bags. Again, this is a lot. <laughs> Um, obviously, you don't have to put everything in like individual Ziploc bag like I do. I'm just crazy like that. Um, but just having things nice and organized, especially because look at all of this stuff. Look at all of these components I have, all of these different uniform items, you know, and then all these different uniforms, they have their own components. So if I have to like grab and go, this just makes it so much easier. I'm not going to be worrying, oh, do I have everything? Because I organized it beforehand. I know where everything is. I take care of it before I put it away. So it just makes life so much easier. 80% <laughs> of the military is being on time and being in the right uniform. <laughs> so having some kind of like organizational system for everything just makes it a lot easier. This is my combo cover. So I bought this little case for it at the next. It just makes it easy because this is also, I guess I'll open it for you. So this is also very white on the top so I don't want it to get messed up whenever I have to wear it. So I keep it in this little case when it's stored here. And then when I do have to wear it with my uniform, I usually just bring the case with me, honestly. And then if I have like a purse or a handbag, it'll just, I'll keep the case in the handbag. And then it's nice because I always have somewhere to put my cover. I don't have to worry about like putting it on a gross table or chair or whatnot. Again, this is more like a luxury item. You don't need this. You can put this in a box or just a grocery sack just to protect it somehow while it's sitting here. Okay, and then this bin is like my cleaning bin, so I have all of my stuff for shoe shining. So all the different colors, brown, neutral, blacks, shoe cream. I've honestly never used that. I don't know how I got it. Edge dressing. It's not gonna... I don't know how to get this stupid thing to autofocus. Someone tell me how cameras work. <laughs> 
So I can set it up right because this will not. Yeah. A toothbrush in case I need to like on the edges. Um, quick shine. Totally not supposed to use that. But if you really need it, just just have it in case. And then white. And then here's like the Kiwi brand shoe shine kit with the brush and all that good stuff. So yeah, I just keep the cleaning stuff separate from my uniform, there we go, stack, from my uniform components, just in case something happens, it spills or whatnot, it's not going to ruin any of that. Oh, and these bins I got from Target, they have different sizes too, and I love them. I use them all over the house. They're so cheap. They were like, I don't know, maybe this one was like six bucks, and then it gets... You can get like smaller ones. I think this is the largest size though. So it's not super big, but for just like bathroom organization or whatnot, it's perfect. And then they get smaller. So it's like six bucks, four bucks, a couple bucks. So yeah, Target. And then lastly over here. So I just kind of ironed my cover. Maybe I'll do a video on that on like uniform maintenance. Comment below if you would like that. But anyways, yeah, I just kind of ironed this a little bit because it was looking a little rough. And then I took my boot bands and just wrapped it around the spray starch to give it that nice fold. And then last in this box, not super exciting, it's just another one of these. It's not a bad thing to just have extras if you can. I hope that this video helped in some way and if it didn't help I hope maybe you at least enjoyed it. Maybe you just laughed at how freaking crazy I am with organizing. <laughs> but before I go make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.